everyone, it's Cindy with Howley Homestead, and today I'm doing a collaboration video with the Facebook group Small YouTube Homesteaders, Small YT Homesteaders, I'll put the link in the description below. And the collaboration is, um, we're all answering the question, why we homestead? I brought me a cheat sheet because I don't want to ramble on. So, um, I don't know, first of all, for us it kind of started out as prepping. Um, <clears throat> I don't know, you can go way back to my childhood. My dad kind of did some, some natural things, um, essential oils back before they were a trend, back before they were real popular. Um, well, I mean, I guess they've always kind of been around, but in our culture, they weren't back there very popular, you know, 30 years ago. <clears throat> and so, you know, he did things like that. He, uh, he was into Melaleuca and just some things like that. So that kind of, kind of planted those natural healthy things in my mind um, even though we lived pretty much a you know conventional lifestyle like everyone else um, as we went on I really didn't care too much about nutrition until after I was married um, and then when our oldest was one year old he's about to turn 17 uh, we got into raw foods the raw food diet and long story short, we've kind of progressed through a bunch of different things through the years, but it's all pertained to, you know, what we believe to be the healthiest at the time based on research and, and our own experience. We felt really great on raw food, but we don't do it all the time now. We do it if we need to do a cleanse or like if we had cancer or something, we would definitely um, do something like that. So <clears throat> from that was about, that was when our oldest was about a year old, almost 16 years ago. And it was at that time that I really started looking into more natural things and, um, you know, things that work with nature, things that work with our bodies rather than against them. We don't want to cover up symptoms when we're sick. We want to knock them out, take care of them. And so <clears throat> it was a lot of learning. It was a lot of education. And my husband was kind of tired of it at first. It didn't take long for him to get kind of tired of hearing my new lecture every day he came home and on what I learned. But uh, he is totally on board, and um, it, he's, he's learned a lot. And it took him a while to come around, but he is totally on board now. And sometimes he even takes off way ahead of me, and I'm like, slow down. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> but we still, we still learn so much, uh, especially through YouTube videos and, and just experimenting with things. <clears throat> Let me back up a little bit first, though. I wanted to touch on... Um, home homesteading homeschooling we even did home church for a while there's just something about the word home it um, implies family of course and we wanted to homeschool back before our kids were even born back actually back before i was even married and he said the same thing before we even met we just knew that we wanted to homeschool our children one day so that's always been a big part of our family. We've never had our children in public school. I have absolutely nothing against teachers. They're wonderful. They don't get nearly as much as they deserve. They, it's just, I could go on, I mean, most teachers are just really awesome. I don't have a problem with the teachers. It's the system. The system and the peer pressure and the, the bullying. And I mean, there's a million reasons why we chose to homeschool. So I, I might go into that on another video. Um, home church is the same reason, and I won't go into the, all the religious stuff, but um, there's just a lot of things that, you know, we even, we even try to have our own home business, although my husband still works, he works at the Hobby Lobby Warehouse, and um, so, you know, we do what we can to make money from home. Eventually, we would like to be able to completely support ourselves from home, and to me, that's what homesteading is all about. Uh, even if you do have to work a business, you're completely self-sufficient. So even if that includes a home-based business, if you're self-sufficient in everything that you do, you supply your own um, food and you don't have to rely on, on somebody else for a job or, um, you know, for, there, obviously there's going to be some things like gasoline. If we use propane, we'll have to buy propane. So, I mean, I do think it's possible to be 100% self-sufficient, but I think it's very, very, very difficult. You have to really be determined. But I guess what I'm getting at is 
that's really the, the main reason we homestead is because we wanted to live a more natural lifestyle and we wanted to be self-sufficient. And let me look at my cheat sheet here. <clears throat> um, and also, also just lower cost of bills. It's a lower cost of living. We don't have an expensive lifestyle at all. Now sometimes we buy things we don't need <clears throat> if we have a little extra money, but we always regret it. Uh, I, I'm wanting to get rid of so much. I'm, I just, and I have, I've already gotten rid of a lot, but there's still so much we want to get rid of. We're just not, at least we don't want to be materialistic. Sometimes we are a little bit more than we like to be, but I mean with eight children, even minimalistic, we're gonna still have a lot of stuff. Six children, sorry, a family of eight. We're still gonna have a lot of stuff. So um, I just, I just want to get rid of a lot and I am not a high maintenance woman. I don't wear makeup. I don't wear nice clothes. I'm not high maintenance at all. So to me, living a natural lifestyle is not that difficult. Um, the only thing difficult about it is when you're not growing your own food, it's more expensive to buy the more natural stuff. But for growing our own, it's not that expensive and it's uh, and it's better to grow our own. And I don't know, I just like it. it. It makes me feel better and I have lost a little bit of weight, working on losing some more, uh, a lot more. <laughs> and I don't know, I guess, I guess that's really what it all boils down to is it's just more natural. And really, the, really, it, it's the way that, that God, the creator of the universe, the creator of the world, I know not everybody agrees with that, and that's fine, I respect that, but that's the way he made us. And, um, you know, I, I want to live as close to the Garden of Eden as possible, where they just lived in amongst all of the fruit-bearing trees and, and plants that they were able to eat whatever they wanted except for the tree of the the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil and it was a perfect world there and i know we're not going to have a perfect world here but um i just feel closer to yahweh whenever whenever we do things his way he put nature here for us for medicine for food food is medicine and um it's just to me to me it's a no-brainer that's the way we should live simple as that so that's why I homestead and I don't know it's not it's not some big mystery not some big complicated answer uh, that's really about all <laughs> so I guess that's it thanks for watching and I wanted to give a shout out to um, the Presnell homestead they have a really great channel she's got a great channel over there and go watch her video on why she homesteads and I will link her channel um, under this video and so go watch her, subscribe to her, and enjoy her videos. Be sure to leave a comment, like, subscribe, and share this video. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll have another video coming.